Hello everyone, this is Galak Rushdown and we're here today to continue our playthrough series called Boss Gorilla Retro Gaming. Today's game will be Mega Man 2 for the good old NES. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, Mega Man 2. It's been a while since I've played this one, so it should be interesting to see how well I perform. This was actually one of the Mega Man games that I played the most. I would say this one in Mega Man 5, which stay tuned, we'll have a playthrough of that in the near future. Alright, Mega Man 2. One good thing about this game is that you can actually play the boss, you know, the bosses in any order. You can actually beat them all with the Mega Buster fairly easy. But of course, it's always more fun going after them in order. So, for the sake of the playthrough, we'll go ahead and just play them in the order that I normally play them in. And let's go ahead and start with Bubble Man. One thing that really attracted me about this game besides the simplicity is the fact that, you know, the music is just so sexy. That was one thing that really stood out from this game as opposed to the other ones is that the music was just really, really top notch. Alive off the bat. It's amazing how much Mega Man 2's tunes have been replayed, you know? Especially Dr. White's Castle. Dr. White's Castle, of course, my favorite amongst many others but you know I'm sure I'm not the only one in this you know there's plenty of people out there that think that what is castle is one of the best music in Mega Man game period so and surprisingly enough I didn't really have a difficult time playing through this game way back when outside of you know a couple of things maybe the uh, oh crap I wasn't even paying attention, that was my fault. Anyways, uh, mainly the dragon that you fight in Wally's Castle Stage 1. But this game is actually one of the easier Mega Man's. And you know, that's what makes it fun too, because it's less stressful. But you know, Mega Man games have always been notorious for the difficulty level. I have a lot of memories with this game too. I don't remember what year I acquired this game. I do remember getting it from a friend. I'm not sure what game we traded. I'm sure I traded something. I just don't remember what it was. But I do. I definitely clearly remember the game being well worth the trade, whatever I gave. You know, I remember my friend who was just like, man, I'm tired of this game. It's too hard. I don't like this. Blah blah blah, you know, trade me for, you know, whatever game I traded in, we'll put it even, so. And I was like, well, you know, I ain't never really bothered with the Mega Man games, you know, prior to this one. This was actually one of the first ones I played. So I was like, sure, why not? It looks interesting. Man, you know, the game, I got body in this game plenty of times, but. Man, it was just fun to play. And I got real good at it, too. That's what kept me, you know, playing over and over. So yeah, Bubba Man is usually a first, you know, a good first choice. He's, you know, very simple to beat. It doesn't take much to take him down. As you 
can see look at the amount of damage he takes as opposed to what I take so he's pretty straightforward pretty simple to beat So of course with Mega Man 2 this is back back before Mega Man had acquired his you know famous slide and you know back before Rush came into the picture they actually didn't start until Mega Man 3 and uh, in this one he actually gets item power ups you know, that allows him to do basically the same things that Rush did. Well actually they're better in this one because you get like those platform items and all that. So anyways, once you beat Bobo Man, of course, Flash Man is the next obvious choice. Bobo Lead actually works real good against them. So let's go after Flash Man. And this music, another another real good one, of course. Another one that's been duplicated many times again. It's been, you know, remade. By the life, we're not gonna go after it. Uh, need it. Uh, this game is very easy to acquire extra men and very hard to die if you know what you're doing. So, or if you're as lame as I was and hit those spikes already on. that I do a lot of lick taking in this game. It's necessary if you want to get through quick. I don't speed run, you know, I'm not at that level to speed run, but I can usually get get you know through the game in about half an hour or so. So give or take, depending on how I'm playing that day. Oh man. See like right there for example I messed up it. Now I'm not gonna get the E-tank. Been very beneficial. We're gonna go after Flashman like this because I should be able to beat him with half a bar. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold that. Let's go. Now from this weapon, I should also get item 2, I believe. Either item 2 or item 1. Item 2 is the jet. I think item one is the uh, racing platform, something like that. I don't remember. Okay, item three. I was way off. I'm also eating donuts while I'm playing. I'm drinking Chasta Tiki Punch. Shout out to Chasta. Alright, so Flashman is down. Now the next obvious choice will be Quick Man, that's who you want to go after next. If you, if you follow this order, you should be able to get through the game fairly easy. At least the, you know, the 8 robots for sure. Because this will, this will help you use the items to acquire, you know, certain things. So this stage is actually challenging. Because of the uh, flashing beams that go across the screen, you have to like freeze time to get around those. Because of course, if you get hit, that's an instant kill guarantee. There we go. We got us a bunch of the E tank.
Alright, so this part. You can actually get through this area without the, you know, the flash. But, I don't like to. I like doing it with it instead. So of course now I have to refill it for the boss fight, but that won't be a problem here. Harder than it already is. You know, there's no need for that. How much I got? One more weapon power up, and that should be good. Of course, they want to be greedy. I do it right there so that I can start shooting them as soon as the power up goes up. Because this only drains about half of his bar, so you'll have to physically beat them after that. Look at that, perfect. Didn't even get touched. And that's how you take quick man. It's amazing how much fun this game is every time you play. The more you play, the better you get. More fun it becomes. This weapon is ridiculous, man. The quick boomerangs. It's a very good weapon to use throughout the stages. It takes very little energy to use. And, you know, it's, pretty, it's good, man. The same thing with Metal Man's weapon. Which brings us to Metal Man is next. So let's take this Joker down. One interesting fact about Mega Man, uh, Metal Man, sorry. In Wily's castle, when you encounter the robots again and you have to fight them all, one after another, <laughs> if you hit Me uh, Metal Man with his own weapon, the Metal Blade, that's a one hit kill, guaranteed. Only works in the American version, and it only works when you do it a little more difficulty. You just can't handle one hit. His own weapon is so powerful that he dies from getting hit by it. I always thought that was funny too. how they give you weapon power-ups, you know, when you don't need them. But the 
ones that you do need is the ones that they won't use. are also a lot shorter too in this game than they are some of the other ones. And just like that, poor guy don't hit me once. Donuts are good. I remember the first time I saw that thing, it scared the hell out of me. I was like, what the? Of energy, 
Oh crap. Alright, that takes care of wood, man. Alright, so after wood man, we're gonna go after air man. Because the wood, the leaf shield is what works perfect against them. Oh yeah, we're already at 20 minutes. Alright, so what I will do is we'll beat the eight bosses and then we'll stop the video and we'll continue part two. Dr. White's castle. Okay, this part right here, this is the best way to do it. Just leg take man. Leg take because it cuts back on time. You can almost get your energy back, so... This is good, especially if you're like trying to, you know, oh crap, speed run. See, I mean, I only took a quarter, you know, energy, so... Small price to pay. Glad that went into the pit, cause that was gonna be it for me. Okay, he's the one that gives you item too. That much I know. <sighs> okay. Interesting thing though is that the Bobolet works on three bosses. It works on Flashman, it works on Heatman, and it also works on uh, Wily's final form as well. Good job, give me that. I'll take that. 
God, why is he dropping? Like, dude, stay on, stay on the damn ladder. Got no business dropping now. I can get the E tank, but eh, I don't really need it. I got two of them. That's actually plenty. No, do I need the extra life either? This one, I believe he also dies from two hits. Yep. Look how much one hit did. Good lord. That was like 80% of his life. Lighter man. Yeah, cause literally a lighter. This stage is pretty cool and annoying all at the same time. I hate this stage. And it's all because of those things. And then the uh good job. And then the blocks, the stupid disappearing blocks. Teleporting my character. Wow, that was messed up. Oh, I hate this. 
please. Part, there's no need to go through any kind of stress whatsoever, so... Oh, that's right, what am I doing? I go over here. Alright, that is it. That is all the mega bosses, all eight of them. So, with that, that's been taken care of, and that ends part one of our Mega Man 2 playthrough. Make sure you know you tune in to part two coming up. Make sure you follow the link so that you you can continue watching the video for where we left off. And next will be Wiley's Castle, which should be a five, I believe it's a five stage process. So five or six stages. So, all right. So again, everyone, thank you for watching. And as always, make sure you subscribe and like this video, comment on it. Tell me what you think, what I can do better. And make sure you also follow Geeks and Gamers as well at geeksandgamers.com or the Facebook page as well. And also on Twitch. And you can also follow me on Twitch as well at Godlike Rushdown. Thanks for watching, guys.